Well, folks, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Captain Boat Builder. Today's episode, episode 16, is entitled Painting the Outside of the Hull, Part 1. And the reason it's Part 1 is Part 1 of Painting the Outside of the Hull is the priming process. Part 2 is applying the finished coats. I've tried to figure out how to make this more interesting and uh, less boring but unfortunately I haven't come up with much. Uh, my guitar playing is terrible, my singing is even worse, so I can't even think about entertaining you with that. But uh, as we get into the process, you'll see that uh, the sanding itself is tedious, it takes a lot of time, uh, but the end result is pretty good. I've been pleased with it. So this uh, part one begins when the outside of the boat, the outside of the hull, which is coated with the epoxy resin, up to four coats in some places, this has been completely sanded smooth with 80 grit paper by hand, as carefully as I can. So once you get to that point, now you start applying the primer and sanding and applying another coat and sanding. I wound up applying four coats of primer, sanding carefully and heavily in between each one. And what you'll see at the end is you'll see the first of the finish coats. But uh, that finish is not nearly complete and will require yet more sanding and more application of the final layer of polyurethane. So um, I can't say that this episode is going to be very exciting, but I hope that there'll be some techniques here that you'll pick up that will help you with your own build. Uh, these uh, techniques apply to... Uh, sanding and priming and painting pretty much of any boat. So again, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you uh, learned some things from today's episode. Before I start putting on more primer, I just wanted to show you uh, what this looks like after the uh, entire outside of the hull has been uh, sanded. And here again, even with the heavy sanding, you can see we've got some sh shiny stuff, some dull stuff. And again, the shiny stuff, that those are the low areas. I hope to be filling those with the primer. And now I wanted to show you what the primer looks like after it's been applied and sanded the first time. So here you can see a section where I sanded it, put on a coat of primer, and sanded it again. And you'll see once again, now the shiny stuff is now covered up by white. So the white indicates where it was low. And I'll be putting on more primer and doing more sanding, trying to get this as smooth as possible. Uh, I know this is sort of a boring part of the whole process. It's, it's boring for me. I can't tell you how many hours I've been sanding. Uh, if I did, you'd probably never want to build a boat. But anyhow, this is what it looks like before I start putting the primer on. As I progress along, I wanted to show you now what the hull looks like with two coats of primer. These are two coats of primer that are one right on top of the other. And you can see that we're getting complete coverage from the primer, but it's still not quite as smooth as I want it to be. I'll also show you down here one of the areas that I'm working on, you can see this right here. You can see how this transition from these planks up into the bow, it's not quite smooth. It's not quite smooth here, not quite smooth here, but I'm working on that, building it up. Now, after the two coats of primer have been sanded almost completely off, now the hull is gonna start looking like this. This is a section where I've done pretty heavy sanding with 120 paper. I've shifted from 80 grit down to 120, a little bit finer. And you can see here clearly, the white area is the area that's getting built up. And the darker areas, these are the, the areas that were a little bit higher and they're getting sanded off. And you can see on this section of the other bow, you can see here, now we're making this transition smoother. This is almost finished. Here's another one that's almost finished. You can see that this transition is finished. 
this one down here at the bottom off of the uh, number one plank. This one is almost done. You can feel these with your fingers. So here is what it looks like with two coats almost completely sanded off. It's starting to get quite smooth, but I do think it's going to be at least one more coat of primer and maybe one more after that. And of course, lots of sanding. I wanted to show you now what the hull looks like at this stage of the painting. Uh, bear in mind, all of the planking has three and in some places four coats of epoxy, multiple layers of fiberglass at the bow to try and smooth things out. That was all sanded as I went along. Now what you're looking at is two coats of primer, the heavy build primer, two coats of primer that have been sanded quite a bit with 120 paper. And you'll notice that as you look at this, of course you've got the high and the low places, but you've got some places that are starting to get smooth coverage, even though you can still sort of see through the primer and see down to the wood and the grain. And this is what they call the uh, translucent part of priming. It's not a solid coat because in many places it's sanded so thin that you can see through it. So I'm going to put on another coat of primer still and sand that not quite so heavily and we'll see how it turns out. But I'm starting to get to the point after literally days and days of sanding, careful sanding, starting to get to the point where the finish is just about right. Well, I'm back with you now after more days of sanding and countless hours. This is what the boat looks like after three coats of primer, all sanded uh, very carefully with 120 paper. I'm gonna have to put some more primer on. It's not quite as smooth as I want it to be and I'm gonna shift down to 220 paper because I'm finding that it cuts pretty well and it gives you a really smooth surface. I did make a mistake that I might have mentioned before. I did try putting on two coats of primer, one right after the other, and then sanding both of them off. I found that the extra sanding was way, way too much, and it's better to just, in my opinion, to just do it one coat at a time. I wanted to show you another thing that I've kind of learned the hard way. I'm a little bit disappointed. If you look right here, you can see a tiny little dent that's where one of the wires went through the boat. If you look down here, there's another one, there's another one. These are little dents that I thought with three coats of priming and sanding that the primer itself would fill the dent. And it really hasn't worked as well as I thought. And so going back, I think I would have identified, would have been better off if I'd identified these dents sooner and used some sort of uh, fine wood putty to fill them in because the primer uh, just doesn't seem to be doing the job. I did find here as we transition the planks into the bow, I've been able to get a nice smooth transition with a combination of epoxy putty, the uh, West System putty, and also with more primer. So I've, I've had uh, pretty good results here. So it looks like at least one more coat of primer, maybe two before I'm finished uh, priming and ready for the final coat of the polyurethane. Um, I can see clearly that uh, this is a very boring part of my video series. I uh, can't really think of a way to make it very interesting. It's just hours and hours of sanding. I hope the interesting part will be a beautiful finish at the end. Well, folks, as we continue this uh, somewhat boring video on sanding the bottom, which, as I've said before, I think is a very important uh, and painful step in getting uh, as good a finish on the bottom as you possibly can uh, to make your boat look fantastic. This is a product that you might uh, enjoy using. I found it to be terrific. It's called Dura Gold. You can just see the name on the paper. This is 120 grit. These rolls are adhesive backed. You can order these on Amazon. Uh, you can order all different kinds of grits. This is the 120 grit that I've been using quite a bit of. And what I found is that this paper with sticky on the back is almost exactly the right size to be used in conjunction with one of these 
somewhat soft sanding blocks. You can let the paper stick out on the edge, as I've pointed out before, and it lays right into the curve between the two planks. The other thing I found is that especially up in the bow, the curves of the planks are enough that a hard block, a really hard rubber block, doesn't work because it's, uh, it's too hard, it doesn't conform to the curves of the planks. And so this somewhat soft block works. You may ask, well, if this is a sanding block, why are you using sandpaper? And the reason is that this block fills up with um, dust pretty quickly and becomes almost useless. So I've been using the paper, just letting it stick out a little bit on the edge, like right here, but it'll follow the curve of the hull. And uh, it stays stuck well enough that it works pretty well. The second thing I found is I started using a quarter inch dowel wrapped with this paper to give you a rounded surface like that. And you'll see here that it fits almost exactly into the space between the planks. And so what you can do with this, it gives you a nice curved sandpaper so that you get a beautiful edge here between the two planks. And the last thing I wanted to show you, show you again, is this is uh, part of the rail. You can see that it's nice and flat. And I've used this with sandpaper. I've used this so that you can get a smooth, completely flat sanding surface to use in areas that are a little bit tighter. And an example of that would be right up here on the bow, where you're trying to fare these lines into the bow. So those are three sanding techniques that I've found over time. The paper, the soft pad, the quarter inch dowel, and the flat one. And the combination of all of these three will give you a very nice result. Well, as we finish up this particular episode, episode 16, just wanted to mention a few things. This is the primer that I've been using. It's an Interlux product. It's called Pre-Coat, and it's designed to be used under their uh, Interlux uh, Bright Side uh, polyurethane, which is a one-part polyurethane. That's what I'll be using for the final coat. But this is the primer that I've been using, uh, recommended by the folks at Chesapeake Lightcraft. I wanted you to see what the hull looks like now that uh, I have the first coat of the uh, single part polyurethane, the bright side polyurethane on the boat. This is the finished coat. Now there will be more, this is the first coat and there will be more than one. This particular product is very thin. You can see here in the bow, uh, it's so thin that with the first coat you can see right through it in certain areas but it does go on uh, beautifully. It flows nicely. Uh, my next video, which will be a little bit shorter, is about uh, finishing the final coat, the final coating of the single part polyurethane. But this is what the hull looks like after the first coat. And this uh, is also uh, after the fourth coat of the primer, which was put on and sanded off. Um, so, uh, as I said, this has been a really boring, time-consuming part of the construction, but I'm getting to the point now where I'm getting a really nice finish on the boat uh, with the paint, and I'm quite happy with it. So, thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you've learned a few things, and I'll look forward to the next one. So long for now.